had been an integral part of life of all the Gulf countries. For Kuwait specifically, it has a heritage value. Most of the Kuwaitis were divers and they were doing pearl diving and trading and shipbuilding. Currently also it is very important because we, since the development has started, we depend on energy and the water needs on desalination which all comes from the sea. There's a huge portion of diet which comes from sea, which is the seafood and, and shellfish. And then it is a very important source for the economy because all the navigation that takes place is from the sea route. About 40% of the total oil produced, sold in the world, goes through this part of the world. We are seeing accelerated ocean acidification in the area. We see a very high temperature in the area. We see a lot of a very high salinity in the area. So all these are multiple stresses other than even the oil industry and power, power and desalination facilities. In terms of pollution, what we do is we do all sort of assessments, starting from trace metals to trace organics to radionuclides, and we found that most of these pollutants are not there in the aqueous phase, in the water, they are not there, but they are there in the sediments. And we, sediments are like repository or the history where, where they store it's like a sink. And what, what makes us a bit uncomfortable is that climate change, some of these contaminants may get remobilized and be bioavailable. And that can be taken up by organisms and it can pass through the food chain and it can create multiple stressors. A spectrometry can, is used basically to identify different type of pollutants which are there in the marine environment and we have seen, we, and we can do it on all sort of matrices from water to biota to sediments and we have done it and we found that it is, there is a trend and it can be identified that where the source is, how it is coming, where it is concentrating, if it is biomagnifying, all these issues are very, very clear using the nuclear techniques. In fish we, we find some of the content, the, the, the major contribution we will see is from polonium and this polonium is coming from radon and natural radionuclides. A very detailed work has been done on polonium where we see that to do food security, to do a assessment on dosimetry and fish advisories, it, the, all this data can be used and it, has, it is being used. And we, we have found certain degree of organic pollutants in them. There are in some cases, in some species, there are trace metals available. So all these assessments help us to advise that what's safe and what's not. It, it is essentially for the policy makers to underpin any policy with sound science. So that's the main aim. Over all these years, the facilities that we have developed are, have grown to a larger scale. Now we have a facility which is to, we are capable of doing all sort of ocean acidification and ocean warming experiments and control. The facility size is quite big. We are trying to host now the regional, to be a regional hub and support IIEA and its fellows in case if they need any training. To, and cooperation on regional and international scale to do any experiment. All the analytical facilities are available and can be shared with, with users.